This is Camp Kennedy. Hey, what's going on everybody? Got a little bonus video for you. I just got back from a reptile show and I am lugging some tortoises that I'm gonna be babysitting for a while. So you guys are gonna help me get these guys out into their new enclosure. These are friends of mine uh, and he needs me to hold on to him for a little while because, let's just get this hose over, because he's moving to a new place and his old place has got a cell and his new place isn't ready for all the animals. So I have a nice empty pen here where the yellowfoots used to live, but I no longer have yellowfoots. So let's have a look at what we'll be putting in here. Pretty excited actually. So uh, while I do this folks, I'll get you guys set up right here for a minute. Just wrap you on this little, little thing here while I grab all the torts, I think that'll work. Again, bonus videos, people. They're a little cockeyed. Let's see what we got here. All right, so there you are. So I'm gonna get these guys out right now and I'll start to show you the tortoises. We're gonna line them all up, get them ready, and then start letting them go. So here's the first ones. Oh, just got you in the nick of time, people. All right, so here's the first ones. They're elongated tortoise here, okay? Beautiful, gorgeous elongated it's full-on adults here so I'm gonna have elongated but there's more than just elongated and um, oh boy it's elongated so it's a little mushy oh some mud poop is there we go here's the other one it's a female all right so there are those first ones let's see what we got here oh look cherry heads how cool is that so we got some cherry head tortoises also. And these guys have been cohabitating in my buddy's enclosure. He keeps them together. That's just the way he's done it. So I'm gonna keep these guys together here at my house. Look at this beautiful tortoise though. Is that great? How incredible is that? Unbelievable. All right, I'm pretty stoked. So I get to babysit these guys and he's letting me keep all the eggs. So whatever eggs cat hatch out, I'll be able to offer up. There they go, man. They are gonna love their new home. And we still have all these bins. So what do we got? We got four elongated, and that's five cherry heads. Look at this. How cool. It's a beautiful male. All right. Go ahead. We'll get these all set up. There goes that now. Next bin. Ah, oh, some more elongated. So you guys know I love elongated tortoises. Um, I have 22 of my own. And now we have these coming in here. That's five, six, seven, eight so far, eight elongated. I don't know what the sex ratios are. He does have them written down though. But these guys are gonna be happy here for a while for sure. Nice coverage. They got all that bamboo to hide under. We got a heated shelter that they can live in. So how cool is that, man? Awesome. Oh, they're heavy. These are some heavy, beautiful tortoises that are living out here, and they are gonna be happy. So, again, folks, like I said, normally I would keep elongated, separated from my, uh, from my cherry heads, but they've been living together for a while. For the sake and ease of uh, everything going on, we're just gonna keep them together. This has gotta be the biggest elongated I've ever seen. It's a male. Holy smokes, look at that. How cool. All right, man, that's so rad. Oops, sorry. You all right? I think he's all right. These guys are massive, man. Massive. Uh, oh, so this is a fun little bonus. You guys get to see me putting these guys on out. This is how I do it. We're just gonna get them right outside and get them used used to their new enclosure. Now, here's the thing, when you move tortoises, even tortoises that have been in groups for a long time, if you move them, it's definitely gonna upset them. Sometimes it'll take a year or two for them to acclimate to their new, new environment. Even if it's in the same state, sometimes even if you move tortoises from one side of your yard to another, it'll throw off all their breeding and uh, it might take a while. That's just, a, you know, just happens but that doesn't necessarily mean it'll always happen. Uh, but anyhow, let's see. 
Last group of cherry heads. Look at this cherry head. Holy smokes, look at that. Is that incredible, marbling? Holy smokes, it's a male. Holy Toledo. Pretty excited about that. My goodness, man, this is a lot of tortoises. My gosh, look at this one too. Nice and marbling. What a beautiful group. And these are all egg layers, so hopefully they'll adjust quick. Like I said, it can happen uh, that it upsets them. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes they'll just get right to business. So hopefully they'll start laying eggs in September when the rest of my cherry heads start laying eggs. That's another one. I hope you guys are counting because I stopped. I stopped counting. I have it all written down on these bins. Uh, but look, oh my gosh, look at the face on that one. Almost Darth Maulish. Look at that. Are you guys stoked or what? And that's the final cherry head. So I'm gonna get these guys going. Let's have a look around their new habitat. We'll just make sure everything's good. I really love the way the bamboo makes the leaf litter here. They're already walking about. This is gonna be their hideout. One's already looking, looking for a place to go. I gotta get their water bowl set up. Uh, lots of leaf litter. This is so cool, man. That big gal's already found her way over there. I'll move those cinder blocks. But I just thought you guys would like to see uh, the new additions to Camp Kennan. Uh, I moved the yellow feet out because they just, um, I wasn't able to hatch the eggs. They weren't really breeding. And I want to make sure that all the space that I have here is going to be used for animals that are breeding and doing well. Look at that. How cool. Isn't that awesome? So we got some elongated, we got some cherry heads. They got a nice big pen here. You can kind of see the pen. And the other cool thing is, is that they're right next to my group of elongated. So pretty happy about that. So here's everybody. They're gonna settle in. I still have other animals that I gotta get out of my truck. So I'm gonna leave it, leave it go. But again, what did we learn here today? Well, we moved some cherry heads and some elongated. They've been living together for a long time. So for that reason, I'm keeping them together because my buddy was keeping them together. Uh, also, we learned that, you know, sometimes you can move tortoises and it'll work. Uh, they'll lay eggs immediately, get right into the cycle. Uh, other times, it might take a few years. So I'll let you all know how they're doing if I'm getting eggs from this new group of animals. But uh, their season is kind of over. So it'll start up again in, you know, September, October. So there they are, the new additions that I'm fostering here at Camp Cannon. And uh, well, I got a lot of work to do over here, cleaning out bins. So uh, I'll be seeing y'all later, bye.